what is going on everybody, James E here, back for another part of uh, Life is Strange 2. So last time we literally just started episode 2, rules, so they've fully acknowledged uh, Daniel's powers now, they've uh, just been training. I think Daniel might be coming down with a fever as well, so um, we'll see how this plays out. So it's still at that cabin. I think they'll be leaving it. Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move! So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> you shouldn't really swear, but... Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like, you're always polite. Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm oh. gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Should really go out with her. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. <laughs> okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Oh, not good. Oh, could have seen that one coming. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? Follow the tracks. This way. So it's one Daniel's tracks and one's uh, Mushroom's tracks. Oh, great. Daniel? Where are you? No. no. I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. What the fuck happened here? Not good. Oh, 
That's not good. Why can't you go under the tree? and it's going to say you crawl under. I never Push let the dog go out Push by itself. What? Fuck. <laughs> Daniel. I'm so sorry. It just... wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Why does the dog's always got to die? It's the only thing that's even sadder than their dad's death. <laughs> Horrible saying as it is, but it's always it's. I knew as soon as that dog appeared and he and he took it, I knew for a fact that it wouldn't survive. Just had yeah, just had that gut feeling. Every time a dog's in like one of these sort of games or movies. <laughs> You just know the dog. The dog might die. Poor thing. Here, you should do it. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Are you still gonna leave or? Keep out of wolves inside. What, there's wolves in there? 
wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long. <laughs> that is a pretty cool snowman, to be fair. Or snowmen, should I say. I think we're out of the woods yet. Huh? Music, yes. Oh, it doesn't sound great now, but it's because it's copyrighted and then it just creates fucking issues. Oh, wow. That is it's really different without the music. I might have just put that back on. Oh my god. <laughs> just Yeah, nah. Oh, fucking copyright. <laughs> it's weird without the music playing. It just feels awkward. Awkward silence. They say they're grandparents on their mum's side. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. Yeah. If they'll get there, I wonder if they actually do head to like Arcadia Bay in this. Like in the first Life is Strange game. do with like four year olds not nine year olds <laughs> you could do it but uh, might kill you back beaver creek don't want to talk to too many people just in case they recognize you
<clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Wonder how this Let me check out. you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. You both look rough. You so. don't want to look like total pigs. Ding dong. Oh, what if it. they went on vacation? Or, or something? It looks like the lights are on. We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> Oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Mm. She seemed welcoming, but the uh, other fella, not so sure. So it was on their mum's side that the, her, their her parents. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine. But you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? So, uh... <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Oh, Stephen. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Well, drink then. I... remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. to be inside. Finally. Feels so awkward to be here. So they're debating what to do. They think Sean might be guilty. Can't tell him that Daniel has a power. Are you alright, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, the police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you 
hurt that police officer in Seattle? Uh, I don't think swearing. Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? Mm. I don't think it's saying that. I freaked out. We had no choice. The cops would have blamed me for everything. I know it. Well, Sean, now the police do blame you. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Ah, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear, but I can't do everything. So, what are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it. Okay. Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small, and nosy, and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here, at least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. I still don't know, guys. I still, I'm still not too sure. How do you feel, Super if Wolf? We, if we can trust them. Way better. You could be wrong. It's nice and warm in here, and the food, yum. Yeah, feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this. 
Yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Uh, bet, better to follow her rules. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please. Give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring and nice. Hopefully that's I guess Stephen is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours, and we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your, well, you know. I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. Oh, I love how it says, oh, okay. It's got 
gonna say Beaver Creek. Yeah, we already know we're at Beaver Creek, but one week later. Well, you've been asleep for one week. <laughs> I could sleep all day long in this bed. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking okay. awesome. Toilet. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. That's hardcore, bro. <laughs> Pretty badass. Let's get going. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Assuming... Oh, yeah. yeah there. Oh, my. Look who's awake. Good. Daniel! <sighs> breakfast time! Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandma showed me a box car! Steven! Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo choo! <laughs> See, but how long can I stay hiding in this house? Oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but. Not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Stop it, you 
crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Why would you do that? Why is oh, he risking it? I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Don't pressure Why don't you, you go explore outside? That. You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? Yeah, you don't want to push it up just yet. Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Okay. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. It's... It's fine, really. We don't have to. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Steven made it years ago. But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see I've you. I've looked brothers. enough. Time to draw so now. Passionate. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. I was never good at any good at art at school. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. That's pretty sick. Weave kindness into your daily narrative. Beautiful. Okay. Got it. Borderline. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Sean, 
See you tonight, buddy. Claire can drop pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Yeah, pretty different from the one we had back at home. Where are those? Ah, there's the stairs. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. It's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. This is it. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. Uh, he deserves to be spoiled. I better not play with it. Alright. Where was Daniel? By the back door. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Man. Can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Two stairs. Hey, Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... <sighs> He was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. 
Trust me, I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. Uh, my, my I just want to make sure funeral. somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. <sighs> I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. Thanks. I'm trying my best. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. A dog? Yes. Old Polly left us three years ago. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Stephen as world Isn't travelers. She in heaven with mushroom. Of course she is. But she's in our thoughts as well. That's nice. What's in there? Hmm. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Some glue. Whoa! Uh, careful. Sorry, I, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Oh. What's he want to talk about? Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh. I'm gonna... Nah, hide the secret. Um, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. 
Sure. Now, by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel, and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in. Well, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites, but... Trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, it's it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. <clears throat> oh, uh, you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to... Uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. <sighs> All right. Okay, oh, guys. Here you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember. For your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! I'm busy. D busy my ass! <laughs> Come over here! <laughs> you gotta find me first! <sighs> Jeez. Gotcha. Hmm. 
Oh, what could he be? Huh? Probably upstairs. Yeah, definitely upstairs. <sighs> this used to be Karen's room. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Behind you. Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Yeah, sure. It's hot. I know. Thanks. Yeah, let me just throw our clothes in the machine and we're good. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there so next time we'll go outside and see how the story plays out. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.